The Honorable Member for Louis Saint Laurent. Mr. Speaker, as you know, the Parliamentary Budget Officer is responsible for evaluating the cost of various parties' election promises. That's what he did last fall for the NDP, notably. Do you know how much the NDP had committed to spend? $214 billion. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the current finance minister. I say current because you never know what will happen. But could the NDP Liberal Minister of Finance tell us how much her government will add to the debt in order to please their new friends at the NDP? Minister. Mr. Speaker, I thank my honorable colleague for his question. Let's take a minute to remember what our economic stewardship has meant for this country. GDP uh, has gone up. We recovered 112% of the jobs lost during the pandemic. S the S&P uh, restored our AAA rating. We are dealing with affordability, we're dealing with the economy, and we're here to move forward for this country. The Honorable Member for Louis Saint Laurent. Mr. Speaker, as we know, the NDP is a centralizing party. Now, that's not necessarily failing, but it's not what we think is best for Canada. So the new Liberal NDP government will be centralizing too, and that's going to lead to disputes with the provinces, which we certainly don't need. My question is for the government minister, not the minister for Rosemont La Petite Patrie. Can they tell us which programs will be imposed on Quebec by the new coalition government? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I understand that my Honourable, Honourable colleague was talking about the Parliamentary Budget Officer in his last question. I think it's interesting to note that that same person, the PBO, said that the Conservative Party, in their platform in the last election, was going to spend more money than we will be investing in helping Canadians. I understand that our Conservatives, Conservative friends are frustrated that the toxic atmosphere of Parliament is probably coming to an end, but we are here working to deliver for Canadians. That's what we're going to be doing in the coming years, and we're looking forward to working with all parties in this House.